Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This question comes to me via a circuitous route. It went to first from Sid, NHU, well, let's see if I can find it. Oh, WT1V, Whiskey Tango 1 Victor. And his question had to do with the use of an iambic keyer, specifically this paddle right here, which is a bencher, okay? And the way it's set up, you can make dits here and daws here, or you can make daws here and dits here. And he was asking if there is some way to reverse that. And there are two ways to reverse that. One, you can reverse it right there, with that wiring, here's the common, here's the two sides. You can just switch those if you want, if you're used to something different. Or you can go into the radio and into the keyer and, um, let's see, numbers down, oh, oh, okay, that's for contesting. Eh, we're not going to do that either. But, um, CW set, okay, paddle polarity. We've got normal, or you can do reverse. So normal or reverse, right? And the key type I've got in here right now is straight because it's this little key right here. Let me get some more volume here. I've got the power turned all the way down. Okay, with this straight key. Now, the standard, the straight, the straightforward way that we're talking about comes from the old classic Vibroplex bug. And, and I've got one right here. And it just ha it goes in place of a straight key. So I'm going to just hook this up. There's no polarity involved. And I don't have its own cord yet but now watch what happens if you push this way see this way you get DAWs and you have to make them manually that's the same as on this key pushing this for DAWs pushing it that way for DAWs and then when you press it this way this part vibrates and you get dits. Okay, dits. So that would mean the equivalent of this for dits. Okay, that's where the standard comes from. Now, with an old Vibroplex like this, you're stuck. This way is DAWs. This way is dits. You could flip the thing upside down, I suppose, and get them the other way. But pushing this way is DAWs. The DAWs are formed manually. And pushing it this way produces the dits. Now let's see what happens when we use the actual bencher keyer here. Whoops, let me turn that down. And I'm gonna pull this out. And I'm gonna plug this in. If I can find the hole for it. Okay, now we need to change the type of keyer. So we're going to do edit set, key set, key type, whoops, key type, and we're going to do a paddle. Okay, and we're going to do normal polarity. Now let's see what we get out of it. Oops, I keep changing those filters. See, this is the same. Now, this gives me DAWs. This only gives me one DAW at a time. This gives me a bunch of DITs, and this gives me a bunch of DITs, okay? So this is set up in the so-called standard. The right hand, the right hand gives me DAWs. Turn this to... wire under that's why it's slipping okay 
okay so this is standard now you can either switch the wires on this or we can go into edit set and do CW key set uh, and do paddle polarity and do reverse okay and then it's backwards so with these you can learn either way but now all the old timers and I want to set this for normal here for myself okay um, let's see. okay we're back to normal here so this is where the standard polarity comes from these old vibroplex bugs they're all alike this way for dashes this way for dips these are all the uh, can be either way standard is this for dashes this for dips okay and in here on the electronic keyer you can adjust the speed if you want to flip them you can do that or if you want your plug to be standard but you want it flipped you can flip it there either way so that gives you a, a little bit of an idea of where that particular standard for dits and daws on these paddles such as this venture paddle that he mentions here I've had this for decades it's a wonderful key uh, it just doesn't break I suppose if I hit it with a hammer I could break it but it's extremely durable and on a very heavy piece of metal so it doesn't scoot all over the place this is brand new to me I picked this up at Dayton and I'll need to put a cord on it so I can use it uh, with the bug so the bug actually uses the same as the straight key settings but you can tell the uh, radio to do something different so this is our answer to Sid at WT1V that came in he sent it just to the ARRL which sent it to uh, Zach Lau uh, W1VT who's a technical editor at the league who sent it on to me so there you go that's how the standard came about and my recommendation is that when you learn to use a paddle you learn to use it in the manner that matches what the bug did because this is the tradition of ham radio now some people who are left-handed prefer it the other way they would have trouble with these and could flip them upside down if they wanted to but you have a lot of flexibility just like you do with most things having to do with ham radio if you enjoyed this video please help me continue to make them by going to decastlercom slash support uh, there you can access my patreon page which is at patreon dot com slash ke zero og and you can become a patron of this channel also please be sure to enter our giveaway and click like and please subscribe and until we next meet 73